Hello everyone, this is Rushlock, and this video is going to cover rendezvous sites in Faction Warfare Space. It's going to cover how to find them, how to run them, and what they accomplish when you do. Uh, if you'd like the fit that I'm using, contact me in-game with the character Winnegar Uwushe, displayed here on the screen. Send them a in-game mail, and I'll fire back the fit for you. Uh, this is, fit was provided by Caprice in Faction Warfare. Um, it's very low SP-ish, kind of. Like, the biggest investment is Drone 5s. Uh, you can run these sites with a different setup as well. Uh, crew, they were designed for soloable with hacks, uh, but a cruiser and, and some competency will get you there. Uh, also, for any tips, tricks, and, and news for EVE Online, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below the video, and you'll be notified when videos like this come out, so you can stay up to date. Uh, so we are in a system in Faction Warfare space. We'll bring up the overview for you. Over here in EY, the system is currently 62% contested by the Amarians, held by Mimitar at the moment. The... Minmatar have an 11% advantage in the system. So what does that mean? It means when pilots complete plexes or complexes in this system, uh, they get typically a 0.1 progression for percentage on contest contested status going up or down based on if you're attacking or defending. If you have advantage or your faction has advantage in the system, that 1.1 turns into... Um, like a 10% bonus would be what? 0.11, so you can see like an 11% advantage isn't much, but if it goes out of hand and you give a, gr a group 26% advantage or try to find a good example here, 46% advantage, uh, it stacks up very quickly to where if you get to 100% advantage in a system, every site you do counts basically double for offensive or defensive plexing. Uh, so a way to manipulate advantage in a system is doing a site called a rendezvous site. Uh, also, if you want to... Uh, speed up this video to 2.0 speed and kind of cycle around to the pieces of content you, you are more interested in, you can do that as well. Now, we got lucky on the first scan and found the Amarian Rendezvous site. I didn't mean to scan there. I meant to show you guys the, uh, the, the sphere sizes for these SIGs. So I want to find you. There we go. Perfect example. Now, when you're probing for these, uh, you want to find the signatures that their sphere is smaller than your probe sphere at pinpoint formation at 4 AU. So this is going to be the Mimitar uh, rendezvous site. You can defend your faction's rendezvous sites, though it will be more common to attack the enemy's uh, rendezvous sites. So I'm going to do this scan just to show you that by checking that visual, we can be very confident we know where the rendezvous sites are at all times. These sites have a 20 minute respawn timer. Uh, we're going to punch into the Amarian one at uh, 20 kilometers. We're going to pull our probes in. We're good to go there. We can kill that window. We don't need it. Um, but yeah. That's all the setup and prep it takes. So in the Vexor, we end up with extra high slots. So we have a DLA and... Is it two DLAs? Yeah, two DLAs fitted in there. And the, the fit's very meta. Like, there's nothing shiny or blingy on it. Again, you want to make this activity as accessible as possible. When I started doing this, this character had strictly uh, Mimitar skills in it. So I had to start training drones up and all the support skills for it when we got there. All right, drones out. These sites have waves of rats. Go ahead and turn our repper on here. And I usually kill the, the biggest thing and work my way down. Um, you know, different fits, different setups, different methodologies. How you run the site is, is mostly irrelevant. Uh, what I'm showing you here is what the site has on it. The, the waves are randomized. You can see any complements between frigates up to battlecruisers. Uh, there's even a battleship that isn't the final boss, but I don't see that very often. Um, eventually, a rat will spawn that is a battleship and we'll, we'll note the special name on it here in a moment. Um, or in a few minutes when the, the wave spawns. I want to say from the previous video we did when we scienced it out, it's like four or five waves and then the boss battleship will spawn. Uh, the boss battleship usually spawns about 70 to 60 kilometers away. Uh, so you need some method of applying damage to that range or at least getting a target on it. Uh, I only move at like 400 with the afterburner on. Yeah, 447. And I can't catch it if, I, if it starts burning away. Uh, in a system like Turner that has a target range debuff in it, uh, it is difficult for me to interact with the battleship boss we need to kill. I can't catch him. So you have to warp on. Oh, here we go. Now, this is interesting. Someone has started this site already. So unfortunately, you guys aren't going to see multiple waves, but on the upside, it's going to be great for um, a shorter video. So we have the prop on, we have the rep on. I'm going to not call the drones in. I'm going to let the drones keep progressing. Uh, the battleship wants to be within about 60 kilometers of us. 
maybe 65, somewhere in that range. So we're going to be able to get into range on it and then target it. We've killed the previous wave. I want to see what the drones do. The drones are, I believe, auto-aggressing. All but one so far. Yeah, all but one drone auto-aggressed. But we're going to get in range to target it. So let's grab that at 65. I think we can lock it at 66 even. Now we give the input order for all drones to attack. That last drone will start moving over. Now you'll see here, more waves are spawning. So even when the final boss comes up, more waves will spawn. And you need to ignore them. We got pretty lucky here that it's all frigates and desis on this one. That extra DPS is kind of negligible. And our drone should kill the battleship uh, before it becomes an issue. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's kind of all the waves. We got very lucky that someone else had tried to do run the site and I guess got interrupted. Uh, that means we got to run the site very quickly. So a shorter video for you guys, even at 2x speed. You won't see the full range of uh, rat waves, but again, they're not they're nothing really interesting. Like the battle cruiser hits hard. Uh, the cruisers are melt very easy when you apply damage to them. Uh, and you're just going through like four or five waves to spawn this Imperial Officer battleship. Uh, but yeah, you ignore the other rats, call your drones back in, turn the prop off, stop the ship. We're going to align out. The rats, once you kill the, the, the battleship, go away. Um, and you can't just sit here and go AFK because those rats are going to come back and they're going to re-aggress you, and then nothing's going to pull them off. Um, the rats don't leave wrecks, they don't drop loot or salvage, uh, they despawn when they explode, and that's to save, you know, the server from a lot of nonsense. Uh, again, I mentioned earlier in the video that these sites have a 20-minute timer, so what I do is I make a timer sheet, and let's say I'm in this system, and I put a timer for uh, 0858. And then I know that in 20 minutes, so at 0918, I could come back to this system and do the site again. Uh, and the big thing that ticked here was Mimitar Advantage. It was 11%, as we mentioned earlier in the video. Now it's 13%. And every 20 minutes, I can tick that up by 2% by clearing these sites. Inversely, an Amarian could come in right now, run there, or run the Mimitar Rendezvous sites, and knock it back down to 11. So it's a little bit of a tug of war there, of course, but that's how it works. And that's the Rendezvous sites in a relatively short video. Hopefully that helps you out. If you have questions about AI, the, the AI behavior or the NPC behavior, um, uh, the, the orientation of the grid and things like that. Uh, for example, I warp in at 20 usually. Uh, I've warped in at 10. I've warped in at 30. I've tried different ranges. Um, and so, so different things will work. But I find that once I got familiar and comfortable with the sites, I could just warp in at my 20 kilometer range and just sit. I don't turn the afterburner on until the, the final battleship spawn waves. Um, and remember, depending on your own SP and your own piloting skill, you're going to have to be more proactive in mitigating the incoming damage. I wouldn't do your first sight sitting still. I would warp in, you know, make sure you're flying and keeping your transversal up on the rats that are shooting at you and things like that. Um, the different empires, for example, might have different types of weapon systems from their NPCs. So keep that in consideration if you're flying Galente, Caldario, or Marion. Things like that may change. I presume that if you're flying a Marion um, and Mimtar rats are attacking you, it's going to be a lot of uh, projectile-based weapons, for example. But hopefully if you have some insights on that from running it yourself, again, leave that in the comments down below, and we'll see you all next time.